teachers are like doctors for the brain, and we need to do continuous checkups to ensure that our students' brains are retaining what we teach them. These continuous checkups are called Checks for Understanding, or CFUs. Throughout a lesson, whether it's after giving directions or after we explain a new concept, we need to check for understanding. There are many ways to do this, but perhaps the most important thing is to understand the difference between strong CFUs and weak CFUs. Checks for understanding are all about gathering information. And the CFUs we ask can either give us a lot of useful feedback or limited, potentially wrong information. Let's look at some examples of strong, information-rich checks for understanding compared to weak, information-deficient checks for understanding. Let's say we've just put these directions up on the board. Now let's look at some weak versus strong checks for understanding to see if students understand these directions. On this side of the table, we have strong CFUs that ask our students to prove their understanding. But on this side, we're asking CFUs that yield little information. When we compare the two sides, the left table, the one where we are expecting our students to prove their understanding, yields high quality information. We can take students' answers based on these questions and determine if they truly understand. But on the right side, these are outdated checks for understanding that can often give us false positives. If we ask our students to self-report, to tell us if they understand without having to prove that they understand, we have a hard time knowing if the information has truly stuck or if students are just trying to pretend and get us to move on to someone else. And here's an important thing to remember about false positives. At the midterm and end of year assessments, these tests are essentially one big check for understanding. These exams are checking to see if our students understand the material within the standards. So the more rigorous we are with our own checks for understanding, the more we ask our students to prove their understanding, the better prepared they'll be when asked to later demonstrate their knowledge. So in your classroom, take a close look and determine if you're asking information rich CFUs or weaker, less informative CFUs. Are you asking for proof of understanding or are you risking a false positive?